Hello and welcome to Introduction to Supported Decision Making, a webinar from the Rethinking Guardianship Workgroup. I'm Jonathan Martinez. I'm the Senior Director for Law and Policy at the Burton Blatt Institute at Syracuse University. That's me in the picture next to Jenny, a young woman I represented in a case about supported decision making. And I'm proud to talk to you today. No matter why you join this webinar, whether someone recommended that you seek guardianship or you're exploring ways to be more independent, or you just wanna know more about your options, we're all really here for the same reason. We want someone we care about or support to have the best possible life, to be as happy as possible, as safe as possible, and as independent as possible. The first thing we'd like to do is show you a video about two North Carolinians, Sovaya and Janie, and the path they took to their best life. If we were the same, if the world was the same, we, it would be fine. Yeah, I always use that. I always use that uh, metaphor all the time. If we were all born the same, this would be one boring world. Um, I'm. My name is Janie Desmond. I'm. I'm from Durham, North Carolina. Um, I'm 28 years old. I'm about to be 29. Um, my name is Savaya Carroll and I am 27 years old. And I am from Henderson, North Carolina, Vance County, and I live in Durham, North Carolina. I like to socialize. I like to go swimming, I like to eat food, I like to be crazy. I like to laugh and be silly a lot, um, which, means, which means bringing smiles to other people's faces when they're sad or upset or worried about something. I just like to have fun. Like so fast that I'm good at spelling, I'm good at singing, I say, well, what else am I good at? I'm good at helping people, I'm also good at loving people, and when I was in high school, my, I used to live with my parents and I graduated and I was like, okay, I want to move out because I want to um, move out and find my own you know community of people and I finally got there and I'm happy. Um, my life here in Durham is pretty good. Um, I have um, a lot of friends um, compared to when I lived back home in Henderson, North Carolina. Um, I'm friends with a lot all of my neighbors here in North Street um, community and at Reality Ministries. I'm always hanging out with people, going out, things that I never got to do before until five years ago. Um, because, you know, it's hard when, you're, when your mom is scared and afraid for you to be out there in the real world because you have a physical or intellectual disability. But once I was able to like show her and prove to her that you know, I'm, I can be independent and I, I can be the person that I want to be. My mom just had to, I had just had to continue to prove to her that I was able to do it. So, how do I make decisions? I make them by myself, so if I want um my favorite candy is um Elheads and 
I will eat L heads and if other people say I I don't think you should eat it and I was like so and so I'm my own guardian I can do what I want when you become an adult and you are your own guardian it's just like huh I can do this myself without someone telling me no that's actually not right for you or even, even to this day I do have some people that will tell me this is not great for me or this is not a good idea but me being able to say no actually I want to do this and I'm gonna do it it's like everybody's like okay then do it you know and that that feels really good to know I have that that power to make that decision I'm on my own it feels really great I like to be me and I like yeah like making my own decisions eating what I want to eat um don't don't just be in me yeah Janie Janie is very very supportive of me when I'm struggling with uh, a really hard decision of if I'm like frustrated with the decision that I'm trying to make uh, and I'm just trying I can't seem to figure it out and I get really stressed when it like making important decisions can be stressful so when you have people like Jane or our friends and our family and our neighbors that are willing to help us with those decisions is really great it's really good to have a support system and to have Jane as a housemate because she is a big part of me making important decisions right mm -hmm. yep and I always ask her do you are you okay and then she'll be like yeah you can go and I'm like um no I'm gonna stay <laughs> yeah because um, I don't like to leave my friends alone especially in hard times and frustrating times never be that you should never be afraid to uh, do what you want to do and be who you want to become in, in, in the world regardless if you have an intellectual disability or a physical disability that if you have a dream and a goal that you want to succeed and achieve then as long as you believe in yourself first that's the most important thing just to tell people in the world you don't don't be scared you got this What Savaya and Janie do is a perfect example of supported decision making. People with disabilities use supported decision making when they work with people they trust, like their friends, family members, and professionals, who help them understand the situations and choices they face so they can make their own decisions. If supported decision making sounds familiar, it's because we all use it. Whenever we ask a friend for advice or ask the doctor to explain things in plain language or just get a second opinion, we're using supported decision making because we're getting the information we need in a way we can understand it so we can do the things we have to do and make the decisions we have to make. Supported decision making is all about making choices, about being the person who makes the choices in your life. When you make more choices and you have more control over your life, you're more self-determined. That's what self-determination is all about, being the person in charge of your life. It feels good to be self-determined, doesn't it? To be the person in charge who calls the shots. It's also good for you. Studies show that people with disabilities who are more self-determined, who make more choices, have better lives. They're more likely to be independent, to work, and to be more involved in their communities. And they're even more likely to be safer. Supported decision-making can help people be more self-determined. When you use supported decision-making to make your own decisions, 
Instead of having a guardian or someone else make decisions for you, you're more in control of your life. In fact, a recent study found that people with disabilities who used supported decision-making were more independent, made better decisions, and had a better quality of life. That's why the National Guardianship Association, which is made up of guardians for guardians, says that before seeking guardianship, you should at least try supported decision-making. There's nothing wrong with guardianship when it's appropriate. But if supported decision-making can help people make their own decisions and be more self-determined and have better lives, isn't it at least worth a try? If you'd like to learn more about supported decision-making and other ways to help people with disabilities make their own decisions, please visit our website at www.rethinkingguardianshipnc.org. If you'd like to help other people learn more, please join our work group. You can do that by emailing Linda Kendall Fields at rethinkingguardianshipnc at office.unc.edu. Thank you so much for joining us today.